Hello, my name is Jacob, and today we're going to be testing QVC products. My name's Lucas, I'm here too. Basically, it's the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just our hands, and we were underneath the table speaking. Got ya! <laughs> hey! Lucas always has QVC on playing in his house. I come over to his house a lot, and QVC is always on. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the blame for that. That's all Matthew. Which, by the way, if you don't know, Matthew's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on while I'm just drinking coffee in the morning, and I'll be like, this is bad vibes, because there'll be someone saying, like, you don't want turkey arms, like, they're just trying to make you insecure the whole time. They're like, please get a jacket, because, like, no one wants to see all of that. In case you didn't know, I just hoi and devo run down. It's one of those TV shows where it just is people selling shit literally all day. You call a number, you can also buy it online, and then they say, like, Three easy payments of this. Sometimes famous people do it. Why am I trying to like speak so fucking fast? Like I'm JoJo Siwa three years ago. She also was hey, on it. She was on it. She was on QVC selling the Bobos. She had like an LGBT moment. I remember because I I watched the QVC. Dude. That's how much QVC's on at our house. Because <laughs> she like had there was a rainbow one. And she said like yeah, it's kind of for the LGBT community. And I think it's live all day. But then sometimes those wee ones. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's like pre-recorded sometimes. I love when they show lotion though. They keep fingering the lotion. Oh yeah. And they it... keep swirling and swirling in the lotion bucket. Everything is so expensive. I actually went on the tab that was under twenty five dollars. I thought the whole thing was like you're getting a deal though. Well, I think the deal is like buying something that's a hundred dollars, but then it's two no five easy payments of twenty two fifty. <laughs> Electric kni knife sharpener. I'm actually scared to try this. A knife sharpener? I don't really understand the whole sharpening knives things, but I know like you're supposed to sharpen your knives every couple years, because else it's dangerous, right? If they get too dull. Yeah, it's actually good to have sharp knives. I've watched Food Network many times, so don't even say you don't know jack shit. If you have sharper knives, it's easier to cut vegetables, everything. So you don't chop off your fingers. Yeah, but if you have dough knives, cutting a tomato. Oh, oh, it's getting close to my hand. Oh! <laughs> but basically, um, it's easy to cut yourself with dough knives. Unboxing ASMR. Before we use it, we have to see how to use it by watching the QVC people talk about it. Oh, hell yes. Get it sharpened. It's like new again, but look. We have little suction cups on the bottom. Why am I obsessed oh. with that? I don't know, that is satisfying for some reason. So when you sharpen, you even have an arrow that shows you which way to pull the knife. Let's it's so funny, arrow. like, even though they have the arrow pointing which way to put the knife, I still am kind of confused. If the arrow's pointing that way, do you put it in that way, or is it supposed to go out that way? You said it's the way you pull it out. Now I'm just confused about directions. What? She made it confusing. I know. We have it for less than 20. What? I know. <laughs> That's why I want to look for QVC because everything they do is so dramatic. What? I feel like we can fast forward because this is nine I know, minutes. Why is it nine minutes? But you put the knife in, that's all you gotta do. Wait, they invited someone on. Oh, an expert. Oh. I did the tomato. I did the peppers. I love how they have sets too. It's it's so mm. personal. You know, it's like an Ikea. Like an Ikea kitchen, you know? Yeah. Like when you walk through Ikea and there's all those little setups. I think we've watched enough. This yeah. this one is good. I like how they invited a knife expo on. To me, she was the perfect amount of joyous. QVC is kind of fascinating in a, in a I know, way. like they do a good job of like, they don't seem exhausted at all. Like certain people, I feel like they could be being all excited where you could feel that they're like exhausted by doing it. But these people are just so natural and like, they just love it. Yeah, and I, the thing about it is that it feels genuine. Uh -huh. I don't know if it is genuine, but it feels genuine. It's like, you, like, you, like you start <laughs> shaking watching it. <laughs> Literally. Did you see the conspiracy going on on the page? What? 666? Six, six, six? Yeah, three easy commits of 666. Six, six. I thought this was a Christian company. You know when that girl found out that monster was demonic? Like... You could have here in Hebrew, 666. Six, six. Something to think about. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything around you is not what it seems. <laughs> Wait, this baby face? She, she was ahead of her time. Everyone now like says, Everything's fake, you're gonna die, we're gonna die. No, she was the original conspiracy queen. I know, just trying Everything to get Everything is not what it seems. It's like, girl, I think you have an illness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's test this out. Let's go to La La Land and test it out. Woo! We're gonna go in the ocean because we're mermaids secretly. Splish splash. Let's swim to the destination. 
The knife sharpener testing is starting now. So do you have a knife that needs sharpening, Lucas? Yeah, let's try to butcher a knife. I don't know if it does need sharpening, but I'm just assuming. Let's show it to the camera for any knife experts watching. Okay, this is how it looks right now. I mean, it does the job. I've never really had a problem with it, but it could always be sharper. I'm gonna be the judge of if it's a good knife or not. I actually don't know. I never have noticed it needs sharpening, but let me know what you think. Is it good? I'm gonna judge it as medium dull. This is really dull. This is sharp as ever. It's a little bit above average. Let's get it, let's get it superior. When I'm cutting the apple slice, it feels like I, I do wiggle a little, which is probably oh. a little bit dangerous. That apple tastes good ass. I actually feel like dad's gonna like get use out of this. You our dad, I've seen him sharpen sharpen knife before with his spit. So he spits on the sharp. What? There's a there's a knife sharpen or black thing. Yeah. That you can use to sharpen knives, and he spits on it and then rubs the knife against it. Oh. Um so yeah, if you ever eat at our house, you might be eating our dad's spit. Oh! The suction works, so because you know if it wasn't suction, that'd be really unsafe. Secure. You into it since it's your knife. I'm too scared too. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Wait, so I already forgot what she said. I think what you just said? slide it back and forth. But why is there a left and a right? Like, what was the reasoning for that? Just doing. I don't remember to be honest. Shit. I guess just do both sides of the knife because they're cold. I don't remember which way to go though, to be honest. It says down, so I go like this. I think. But that's what I mean, the arrow's kind of confusing because like, do you go that way or push it the other way? No, you're right. No, you're because right. it'll go down. Oh, wait, perfect. Is this supposed to be that? I think. Okay, now let's do the other side. Oh, that hurts my ears. I know I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Wait, let me, let me do some audio to put over that. La la la, oh my gosh, I love life. Okay, it's time <laughs> La la la, oh my gosh, I love life. La la la, oh my gosh, I love life. <laughs> Wait. I have felt some things hit my face. So I think it might be like shoving things, but like shoving things, shaving things off, but I also could just be a little bit scared of this machine. So it's me, like my imagination. I'm uh, not crazy. Run, run and ramp it. So how was the ease of use? If this works, I'm gonna say it was easy because that took like 30 seconds. It was easy to use where hand wasn't rumbling. No, and from other knife sharpeners I've, that like our dad has used, this seems easier. Did it actually make it sharp though? We have another Granny Smith apple. Wait, are these Granny Smith? I don't want to be, oh, I, I don't want to be mean to the apple community. Granny oh, Smith. Yeah, Granny okay, Smith. Granny Smith. Uh, Wait, it made it worse. It just feels the same. Uh. And you guys saw in that video, like I was actually rubbing it against it. It wasn't like I was like trying to be like annoying and lazy. Maybe I already had a sharp knife though. I mean, this knife is already good as fuck. Like, look at that. Oh. <laughs> as I say, this is good as fuck. It doesn't cut the thing. It might have done shit, but I didn't notice shit being done. Really big, huge announcement. Our mom used the knife sharpener and then cut this French bread and she said it worked. So there you have it. Oh, it's still in pop. Oh, yes. Whenever QVC is on, I'm always thinking, is the food good? So I got the ch one of the cheapest items of food they had, which is um pancake bottle mix. Oh my god, it comes with little syrups. Like this for, to me doesn't make any sense though, because I get when they sell like, oh, luxurious steaks or like homemade lasagna, but it's like pancake mix. Like they're even making that a moment. Like I, I wonder what they claim is different. That's what I was kind of, like I was thinking the same thing because I feel like if you're gonna buy something online, basically pay a premium, it would be like, Cupcakes that have glitter in them or something. Oh shit. But yeah. This is just pancake. I bet you there's more to it though. Oh, just twelve bucks. Wait, this there's not even a video. I mean, this doesn't. They don't have a demonstration for this one. How much is like regular pancake mix at the store? Like way cheaper, right? Just go it. Probably like four dollars. Oh my, one seventy nine. But this is gourmet. Okay, let's do our own little QVC <gasps> moment. Yeah, let's see if we're good at selling shit. Let's do it. Oh, God, this is our audition tape. <laughs> Splish splash. Let's swim to the destination. See this pancake mix right here? There's apple in my mouth, actually. <gasps> See this pancake mix right here? This is only $12. Did you hear that right? $12 for 
for a thing of pancake mix. It's not only pancake mix, actually. It also has salted caramel syrup and maple syrup. Maple syrup straight from Canada. Straight from the tree in my grandpa's backyard. Actually, I'll, my grandpa makes this. He's the best guy ever. Supporting him would be so nice. He lives in a little ranch in Canada. He has livestock and... Oh, he's just, he's so good for the plant. He cares about climate change. Oh, um, yeah, I've had these pancakes. They're so good. I'm not going to be eating them today because, trust me, I've ate them so much in the last week. But $12, three easy payments. Okay. I feel like I can't even top that because you already, you brought up global warming, a, a sad farmer who needs money. <laughs> like, you just have to do it. <laughs> oh, my God, these pancakes are so good. Wait, I can't. You already won. Like, I just feel like... Okay, I guess QVC's only gonna hire me. So, I opened up the pancake box. I was surprised how luxurious it was. It had a plastic covering. Everything was separated. I don't know if I just have low standards, but it felt like I was at a fancy, um... What would be a place that has pancake mix? Oh, a fancy grocery store. This came with maple syrup and salted caramel syrup. There was instructions, but I, I didn't read them. I was just filming this part. So yeah, I just know that I'm behind the camera. I was kind of just watching him like, what are you doing? But yeah, I don't really understand why we're even doing voiceovers for this part because the camera I was holding literally had a mic, but whatever, this is Jacob's video. I got a bowl for the pancake mix and a pan to fry the pancake. I poured in some pancake mix in into the bowl. Gluck, gluck. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm choking my popsicle. <laughs> I, I ended up filling too, putting too much water into it. So yeah, um, I just found a hack. You just like pull the water out. It's so easy because the pancake mix stays into one piece. Um, and then I added more water and I whisk it with a fork. In these Food Network show, there's always a little joke. Have the chef taste it. And I recreated that. So like, it's so, like, Right now, like, you guys should be laughing, saying, Oh, well, he tried it. Uh, he's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Turn on the bono. Put oil on the bono. Yeah, I filmed some shots of it. Again, I was just behind the camera. So, yeah, this is me filming. I put the pancake mix in. And then I tried more of the pancake mix. And, like, honestly, why was the pancake mix, like, different? It was kind of, like, it was different in a good way. Usually being different is bad, but in this case, it wasn't. And then I just waited. Be patient in life. That's how you get great things to come. I was still just filming. So yeah, that's me, but I'm the one filming if you're wondering like, oh, who's filming? I was filming. I tried flipping over the pancake, but it turns out I was a little premature. Ejaculation. <laughs> I flipped over the pancake and yes, I flipped it badly. Oh, no, whoa. It's not even funny. Like, I honestly hate when people make fun of people for like being like, why would you make fun of someone? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I put the pancake on a cutting board. Hello, well, it's so hard to open the maple syrup. I put some maple syrup on the pancakes. I ate the pancake bent over and it was pretty good. Yummy in my tummy. But yeah, in, in conclusion, I think I already said it, but it was wonderful. Again, I was just filming this part. But yeah, I shouldn't taste any. The next item we have is a rumple. Oh, okay. Lisa Renna collection? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, do they add scent to your packages? Do you smell something Wait, or am I imagining it? Oh my god, I smell perfume. I think, I think the lady that was packing it, or the man, was like, did like had so much perfume. No, on. honestly, I, I could see them um spraying the clothes. That's a, honestly a very smart business tactic. We will talk about it because it's twenty dollars for a whole outfit. Honestly, though, there should be more outfits like that, which is one one item. I know. Done. Uh, like a few years ago when they were trying to make rompers happen for guys, like that is honestly so good. Just throw one little outfit. It's so fucking The only easy. problem is that when you take a shit, you have to take off the whole thing. But I personally only take one shit a day usually. But I picture me in like a public restroom with like my whole outfit on the floor, you know? Yeah, that would And suck. then like people look through the little hole on the stall, like you're just a vulnerable. Because everyone wants to look at you. Like you're butt ass naked in there. Because <laughs> just trying to see like, is anyone in the stall and like you make eye contact? The little thing. I know, they're always in a little slip. I know, it's like, could someone figure that out? Started the show with I've seen this girl before, she's a regular. Feels to come in the show is my tie-dye tea. And I would love to ask my- Oh, you should have gotten that. I've already been ordered. Fuck. Rumpel for $20. Spoiling the daylights out of you at a $4 <laughs> easy pay. And so I am, you know- No, this is who <laughs> I would want to be if I was in QVC. Because the black 
She's like the model. I know. Okay, so saying I want to be a model, but it's like, I don't want to be a runway model. I want to be a QVC model. I'm not, for sure. It sounds fun. Just being in a fake house all day, just like. I'm just like, just posing all day. So this is that cozy. And like she has face such face. a happy face on. Like this ramp is gonna make me happy. <laughs> So easy. Also how you go to the ladies. There's the side tie, and you can bring that in to cinch the waist a little bit. It's oh, a little bit waist cinch moment. Oh yeah. yeah like Course that vibes. <laughs> um, there's still another minute left, but we get it. I'm already sold. The reason why I got a rumpel was because you guys all know Lucas. The thing that made him famous is a Facebook rumpel video. I felt awkward saying it, but I did go viral. I also felt weird saying it. I'm famous. <laughs> You know what I mean? It feels like self conceited yeah, it's, like, it's true. I went viral on Facebook um, four or five years ago. Four I, years ago. I, ever since that video went viral, like everything's kind of in a blur. Because like, so much happens at once. Yeah, just to prove how viral it went, I was at one of my friends' birthday party like four years ago when this went viral. And she said her oh, mom saw the video and thought it was hilarious. Yeah. It's so weird, like, I was just making a video for fun and then I posted online, didn't even know like there was a thing of people, things go viral and then next thing you know, like, I'm the rover boy. That's the crazy thing about the internet is that yeah. you just were, like, you were living a good life, you worked at, you were a car mechanic or something, but now you're internet famous, how does yeah. it feel? I don't want to say I've changed, but I do think that it has changed me a little bit. 1.9 million views. Yeah. May 34th, 2017. Five years ago. Lucas is like Lucas's life changed. Yeah. According to I was filming this. <laughs> what? Um, there was music playing Humble by Kendrick Lamar, so I'm just gonna like silence it and include like my own music or some shit. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm in the club, 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 in the club. I'm this dub, I'm this dub, I'm this dub. I don't even know what dub means. Okay, now it's playing Anya. Oh my god, this is like magical. Like what? This doesn't feel like it's me, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> okay, but the thing about it is that I like get it because it actually is funny. Uh, for me, like I get it, but also like it went on a little bit too long. <laughs> like, it's like why is it? Why are we fifty three seconds in and it's still going? It's you know just what I mean? More dancing. You're just like we get it. With this ramp, I might as well try to recreate the violinist. Oh yeah. Let's, Let's do it. it. Splish splash. Let's swim to the destination. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna put on this baby blue. What would you call this color? Yeah, Babel. Um, Grandpa. It's actually turquoise. Dumbass. I'm butt ass naked right now. Just joking, I still have my underwear. And then I'm actually gonna do what they said in the thing. Like, step my feet in. You know? Like how they said that. Wait, what they say? your feet in and then just lift it up. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be the most easy thing ever to put on. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's so easy. Um, it is like very thin fabric. It is. It like is I, really soft though. Like, does it feel nice or does it feel like cheap? It feels, it does feel cheap if I'm being honest. This yeah. is the only thing I, only clothing item I've ever got from QVC and it feels cheap which kind of sucks. But I'm gonna tighten the side so my comb show. <laughs> oh yeah, cinch. <laughs> also, I know like they can't really avoid this, but I do hate when you get clothes in the mail and they're just so fucking wrinkled. Yeah, this is wrinkly as a bitch. <gasps> Wait, there's no pockets. <gasps> that sucks. Wait, maybe I can do this. It is cinch your waist though. What size did you get? Extra, extra small. <laughs> okay, I got like medium. <laughs> oh my gosh, congratulations, Lucas. Oh, come on camera. <laughs> he won a Teen Choice Award. <laughs> Laziness is a disease and we both have that disease. So we aren't gonna be driving everywhere to do the Rampo video. Might as well just use a green screen. Oh my gosh, both of us are being born. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! 
<laughs> my dick is swinging everywhere. This is embarrassing. Three, two, one. Oh, hey, hey. I will rompo. I will rompo. Oh my gosh, I'm at the mall wearing a rompo. 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 Oh, I'm in a neighborhood. Oh, I'm just in front of this Christian household in a rompo twerking. Hey. Oh, um, now I'm in nature. I uh, wearing a grandpa. I love grandpas. Ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ooh. Be honest, who did it, buddy? Me, aka Jacob, or Lucas? Who's the grandpa king? <laughs> I have to go pee right now, and I'm in the grandpa, so I'm just gonna try to do it, <laughs> guys. I can actually pee without taking off the rample, but my rample is touching the toilet. So if this was a public toilet, it'd be absolutely disgusting. Life is great. Now we have this um, footrest that's for like painting your nails and stuff. When I saw this product, I didn't, wait, actually I got it cheaper than what it was. I got it for like 20 something. Oh my God, damn, you got the sale. So they aren't lying. Like I assumed all the sales were fake, but. Yeah. yeah, they actually changed the prices a lot, I guess. So I don't even, I've never even seen anything like this, but I guess it's for like painting your nails. Let's just watch the video and my explaining sucks ass. Up in the chair and you're, you know, trying to reach the foot. I don't know if I'll paint my toenails, but that's kind of true, I would do I know, like it would be stressful. Oh wait, no, no, that actually is not true because you could just put your foot on the desk. But then you get paint on your desk. Okay. Like that would really be bad. With a fan built in, that now a built-in fan. Good to see you. Oh, so like this other goes over Zoom. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Like, look, the book quality kind of looks bad. Oh yeah. And you really can't get into that comfortable position, and your back starts bothering you. So <laughs> I do have to give QVC like a heads up because like having multiple people sell something is better than having I one. I know you get another people's you get another person's opinion. So it kind of persuade you more. <laughs> and they exaggerate everything saying like my back hurts so bad. <laughs> I just feel like I'd rather deal with the back pain than have this little gadget sitting around my house. But if someone yeah, I mean but if someone if I painted my nose at him and someone bought me this, I would be I like, strike us if thank you. Were, if you were like a nail painter. I'm gonna fast forward. This is seven minutes. We get it. <laughs> Oh, she's, oh, she's great. I want to buy it because she's happy and I'm depressed all the time and she's happy, so I'll be happy if I buy it. That's like the vibe they're trying to do. I know. The only thing is like the position they're in still looks uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Because your back is still yeah, like, fine. If they're going to invent something, like let me lay down while I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm assuming people have said this, but I just need to say this because I want it out on the internet because I want to hear your guys' opinions. Uh, the reason why people have foot fetishes is because it's hidden. Because you know how like asses and vages and penises are hidden? So then they're like, oh my gosh, if you see it, like I get torn down. I'm not oh. saying like naturally you wouldn't get torn down. I don't know the fuck, but like feet are always hidden, socks, shoes. So is that why people like them? ASAP Science did a video explaining it. I think it was something different. Or like something about like the part of your brain where the foot is like really close to the sexual center or something. Your own nails can be stressful. And there's a little pubic hair in that drawer. Are you joking? Look at that pew. <gasps> there's really a fucking that a ball sack hair in there. You know someone was like getting their ball sack, like doing tweezling their ball sack. I know, it's like, please clean up the set before you film. Thank you so much for bringing this here. It's good to see you. <laughs> have you noticed that um when they're not on camera, they have to do something? What do you mean? When they're not oh, on like camera. You have to like act like you're cleaning your nails. <laughs> just look at this shit. clip. When the other girl's talking, the other girl has to pretend to adjust her thing. Just look at this. And then right when this other girl starts talking, like she's adjusting this shit. <laughs> okay. And then right when this other girl starts talking, she goes right into it. Look. Look, and then, then this girl on the right, look. Look, she starts doing this shit. It's like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? And she's just like, she's just moving the fan around. Wait, that like, has to be a rule. <laughs> they, they say when you're not talking, get to doing something quick. Like the way that they're describing it, it seems like Willy Wonka's gonna pop out of this. I'm and, like, excited. Say, hey! <laughs> Okay, I should be testing out. <laughs> Let's go in the ocean. Splish splash. Let's swim to the destination. Wait, guys. I think someone we told this. Why is it already open? Uh oh. If this opens without t without cutting, oh, it kind of was taped actually. 
I was about to be PO'd. <laughs> Why am I actually excited about this? It feels like I'm like actually getting to enjoy something. Pedicure. Why do they put these in stuff that you don't eat? Like it says, no. like, I thought this was for like beef jerky, but why do they put it in this? I really don't get it. <laughs> sound off in the comments if you know why. What did you get sound off from? I literally just stole that from Lucas. But <laughs> was that from like, is that I like think a... I heard it from Kelsey Kreppel or something. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to take off my socks for this. Mm. Mm. I need to take off my jacket. I'm kind of like getting into this. <laughs> So these are the gels that make your feet so cozy. So I don't know if you have to charge this or how it works. Wait, it's electric? Because this fan is through a USB, but... Uh, what? I think once it dies, you have to put batteries in it because it doesn't look like there's a plug in anywhere. If this works, I'm actually gonna cry because I'm expecting it not to work if I'm being honest. There has to be a plug into the wall or something. Or maybe we might have the batteries for it. I'm gonna read the injections. Battery installation. Installation. Honestly, I'm already mad at the product because if there's certain products that come with batteries, just do that. Pay the extra 50 cents. I know your customers will thank you. So we actually have to do like label guys. Like we have to unscrew this using a screwdriver. Wait, how do you move these out of the way? Do you need help, Lucas? Wait. Oh, it's working. Look at that get loose. Oh. Do you know how to put them in the right way? <laughs> Plus minus. <laughs> I'm literally like a, a toddler. <laughs> okay, do I know what I just realized? USB seems like old fashioned to me now. I know. So then so you say like USB C and you know in two years. They're gonna change it to a new one, so then we have to throw everything else away and get dongles and shit. Oh, wasteful. <laughs> and then we also have a magnifying glass that I think lights up or some shit. I don't know. I just break it. <laughs> actually sound... Wait, why does that even require a USB? I actually... Oh, it does have a light or yeah. something. First of all, I'm gonna try painting my nails without it and just see if I feel good, if I feel oh. close. We don't have nail polish, so we're just using a shout beat. Yes, I do have the luxury of being in a recliner, so like this actually isn't that annoying to me. Okay, are you being able to reach your toes and stuff? If I use nail polish though, it could be spilling right now. Oh, and that would be stressful. Is your back hurting? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do have to admit that I am excited to use this because right now I can't fully see the toe. Like, am I getting every crevice? I don't know. There's no magnifying glass. I'm feeling good, but let's see if I feel way better using this. So let's get the magnifying glass out. <laughs> the most <gasps> happy background music starts. This is cool. Wait, show this magnifying glass. Can, I can, can you like film the magnifying glass? Is that possible? I can. Yeah, I can. Why is that so cool? Okay, that is cool. Okay, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, I got done painting that nail. Oops, I want it to dry so I don't get paint everywhere. Sit back, relax, get a bag of chips, turn on some, um, Brett LaVela. I mean, this is just luxury. And I just feel great. You have to try like both and just see what, how you feel because I want you to live it. <laughs> live the dream. Oh, this magnifying glass actually is useful. <laughs> oh, okay, this is cool. Dry. Oh, and the fan is actually powerful. I was doubting it before, but like, I actually feel like this would speed up the drying process. The only thing that would make this better is that they also had a little bathtub you could put your feet in, like at the actual yeah. pedicure place. That is very true. Yeah. Here, look at all the hair stuck to the thing now. Ew, that's... Wait, let me show you guys this. Ew, that's disgusting. A little dog hair all over my floor. You know when you go to, like, um, in a music park during the summer and everyone's sweating their ass off? I'll have one of these. Like, okay, when you go into the theme park, you can put it in your bag like this. Fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then when it's hot out, it's like, yeah, guys. No! Actually, take back everything I said. When you're waiting in line two hours for those dumbass roller coasters, 
<laughs> okay, guys, um, I'm just gonna stop painting my nails. Oh, yeah, it's on the go. Literally. Oh my god. And how much was this, like 58 cents? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like $20, but still. I spent like $80 at QVC. So this is the last thing I got. Um, this is there is, any physical uh, stores, by the way? I'm pretty sure they do, actually. I don't know if they're still open, but I remember when I was on Wikipedia, I said that they do have physical stores. Oh, damn. This is a personal waffle maker. I'm not even gonna open it yet. Yeah, it seems too hard. Oh. Guys, the product that we bought so I isn't showing up. This item sold out, so you can't see anything. Damn, okay. You got the last effing one. There is a video though. Okay, this item sold out, because I got it, you know. I'm selling out items. Could I promote it in this video and then it sold out? I literally. Did you see that? Yeah. I haven't seen this girl before. She's a new one. I know, I think this, I've, I've never seen her either. In your kitchen, check this out from Yes Chef. So, going into this, I'm thinking, why do you need a waffle bowl maker? Maybe they're gonna oh, convince wait. you. Oh I, I, I totally didn't hear the bowl part. Waffle bowl? Yeah, so I'm just oh. thinking like, why do you need this? But I want them to explain why I Yeah, need what are you gonna put in it? Ice cream or some shit? That probably would be good. Maker. So it's a personal waffle bowl maker. You can cook a bacon bowl in this personal waffle bowl maker. Oh, I gotta admit that sounds good. I wanna go to a restaurant now where they make me like a whole egg scramble in a waffle bowl. Oh, okay, I've said this before. Why isn't there a restaurant where everything's edible? Everything comes oh. on waffle bowls and shit. Oh yeah, waffle like forks. Or the midnight munchies, a snack accident. Munchies are when oh. you do weed. Are they putting weed? You said she's a, a snack accident. <laughs> a snack accident. And they also sell you this lifestyle because like, if we're being honest, this kitchen is fucking nice. It has two ovens, yeah. like a fucking two door pantry or some shit. Like that's a nice kitchen. Okay, I like the yellow. What color even, did you get? I don't know. I would think it's gonna be a surprise. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh yeah, see what it is. <laughs> Calling those numbers sounds stressful. Like when they say, okay, how do you want to pay for it? And like, you have to name every digit in your debit card or credit card. And you just don't know if they're writing it down. I know, and then it's like, are oh, you gonna scam me? Yeah, it's this whole thing. The show, we're having a chat, we're joining. Okay, company. you're promoting Hello. shit now, you're not talking about the product. Are they ever gonna show a waffle actually fucking come out? I know, that's what I was thinking. It's like, why can't I see a waffle actually being made? They have Literally. the budget. Where the fuck is the fucking fucking waffle? That's what's annoying, she's in the kitchen. Perfectly capable of making a waffle as far as I know. And there isn't being a waffle made. So it does, doesn't even work. Because you haven't demonstrated it. Yeah, so it, yeah, literally. I'm not gonna buy it. I did buy it, but like, I'm not gonna buy it. God. Time to go in the ocean again. Woo! Splish, splash. Let's swim to the destination. We have the waffle bowl maker. This is my first time ever seeing a waffle bowl in real life. Wait, are you joking? I've got, I think I've got ice cream in one from Dairy Queen. Oh, you, you actually, oh, waffle cone, but this is a waffle no, bowl. No, I've got a waffle bowl from Dairy Queen. Oh my, I honestly, I've been out of the loop. Oh, damn. Should we wash it before we use it? Or like, what's the tea? I've always washed up like just in case it has like chemicals on it or something from the factory. Oh, make sure appliances clean thoroughly before using. I think you just get like a wet paper towel. Oh! oh my God. Actually, not that bad. Was it filming though? No? Yeah, actually, I caught that on camera. Okay, I broke my finger from the QVC product. I actually was just mean about it. Okay, they've seen enough cleaning content though with this. Ladle half of a cup of bottle into the preheated until the waffle bowl is golden bun and crisp. So I guess we do oh, half, half a, a cup. cup. I broke this, lol. Since I think everything... Oh, we need to plug it in for us. <laughs> oh shit, gotta have it preheat. What I was about to say is that since I Wait, think every... Wait, make a noise. Oh, I thought I didn't know if it made like a ding ding. So it says it's hot surface, okay. But since I think everything through, I'm using the waffle mix from Oleo. You saved some. Yeah. I was wondering why you saved some, but now I know. I already said it's Oleo, but I'm not following the instructions. Ain't, okay, they there's no point. They recommended you to like make your own flower shit. And I'm whisking it because whisking like gets out the clump sometimes. <laughs> this is out. 
Wait, do well, I? Well, shit. I guess this? Do okay. Put it on um, a napkin, maybe? Oh, we could add butter to it. I don't even think I have butter. <laughs> oh, you don't? Well, you can just put this on a paper towel and rub it on there. Okay, I just don't know if the paper towel, like, would it burn? Um, it could. I guess you just pour some in and then move it around. Okay, just pour some in. And then we can just, like, do this. I can't. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> Let me suck on my alley for a little bit. It smells like it's burning right now, but that's how these products always smell. Every small appliance, you plug it in, it smells like the house is burning. I burn know! Out. Why do they always smell like you have plastics burning? So let's add in half of a cup. Oh my god. It doesn't seem like that'd be enough, but... It's like sizzling with the oil. Oh, that actually was the perfect amount. Oh my god, it's coming out of the sides. Oh. Shit. This, this used to happen with the Snoopy thing that dad, that mom used to have. Should we just stop it? <laughs> I'm like scared, but this happens. Should we just turn it off? Nah. Okay. Wait, can you open it? No, because when mom used to have a Snoopy thing, that she, she used to have a Snoopy pancake thing. You're okay, this gives me too much stress. It's That's like, why I'm smoke everywhere. Yeah, turn it off. Okay. This is it's stressful. I mean, I followed the instructions. This isn't a the liquid. The only thing weird this was the a, oil. Well, I think that'd be fine. This is a. A salad measuring cup, not a liquid, but I'm pretty sure they're similar. Should we see what it looks like? Yeah. My, I feel like it would be done already. Okay. <laughs> Wait, then you peeled up the top. <laughs> How do we fuck this up? And I bolt myself. I know this has been one big cluster. Yeah. Mm. This is shaped like a waffle maker, so if you put it in long enough, it should make a waffle, but we put in the right amount and it still overflowed. It overflowed a lot. So, um, this is getting a uh, maybe from me. The whole thing just gave me anxiety. We didn't spray the top either. I was kind of thinking that, but I was like, maybe it would just not stick. I don't know, sometimes I didn't think it would like fully stick though. Like, call me stupid, but at least the waffle hand cook. Mmm, yum. I know this product would work if we did spray everything. Is For sure. I have trust in it. So but I actually don't really have that much negative things. Why didn't they test that on the show? Because <gasps> they knew it was shitty. <laughs> I actually don't know. Maybe also, is pancake mix, is that different than waffle mix? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Is that a thing? Probably, right? I literally didn't even think about but that. I think they are the same thing. I'm there. I always just thought that the same exact thing just shaped differently. I'm leaving. Bye. This is the end of the video. I'm glad I tested things from QVC because I want to live a life where I test things from QVC. My favorite thing was the um, toe thing where you can like paint your nails. I mean, is it worth it to pay five times more than regular pancake mix for gourmet stuff that pretty much tastes the same? Probably not. And I have a feeling our mom's gonna enjoy this grapple. Oh, for sure. She's, she's gonna wear that every day this summer. You can subscribe to both of us. Sweaty hands are cool. Well, goodbye, Zs. Bye!